as crowds gather for one of the biggest events of the year. Opening day of the Wisconsin one of the biggest events of the year. Opening day of the Wisconsin State Fair as we take a live look at the fairgrounds in West Dallas from News Chopper 12. The summer tradition returned today after taking a year off because of the pandemic. The grounds are expected to be busy over the next 11 days. Hey. <laughs> That was the moment the fair officially returned. Governor Tony Evers on hand there to help cut the ribbon. News Chopper 12 captured long lines to get into the fair. This is what it looked like right before the gates opened at 11 o'clock this morning. The lines ran down the racetrack entrance and wrapped around the infield. We have a team of reporters covering the first day of the fair from the air and on the ground. And of course, we'll get to all of them in just a moment. But first, here's a look at what you do need to know about this year's fair. The fair is open daily from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Parking and admission are cashless. Cash will still be accepted inside the fair. Masks are not required, but fairgoers are encouraged to wear them inside buildings. You'll also find hundreds of new hand sanitizing stations throughout the park. This is the first state fair since the start of the pandemic. WISN 12 News Hillary Mintz joins us live tonight. Hillary. Yeah, hey guys, we're by the big slide. Of course, kids, let's be honest, parents, I know, you couldn't wait to go back down it. I think here comes the crowd here. If you listen closely, you can hear those screams as some of them come down. But so much to do, see, eat, you name it. People making up for lost time. They've been waiting for this, and now they're here. The sights sounds and tastes. Gotta get the corn. Has to have the corn. So the Wisconsin State Fair are back by popular demand. You're back at the fair. How does it feel? Outstanding. Missed it. Totally missed it. I'm really glad we're back. Had a great time and, you know, we're going to be here all day. Yeah. What about you, ma'am? It's our tradition to come the first day, so we missed it last year. So, yep, happy to be back. It's the first fair back in the pandemic. With some fairgoers masking up, others felt safe enough to go maskless. It feels good. I got my shot, so I'm okay, I hope. <laughs> Was there any hesitation to come back? No, no, uh-uh. You, I can't, because last year we had to do the drive through So I'm like, yeah, I get to go back. <laughs> And to those enjoying all of the fan favorites, the cream puff was a must. How does it feel, though, to be here eating your cream puff? It's indescribably good. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other state fair like Wisconsin. I Hillary joins us again. Now, we know the fair opened a little later. Did anyone seem to mind that? too much toy you know some people told us that yes they couldn't get here quite when they used to open up right and early at 8 a.m. so they came right when they opened up at 11 and yes it was a lot of traffic to get in but we all made it clearly thank you Hillary 12 News Derek Rose is also at the fair Derek the first day is always exciting Always exciting indeed, Patrick. That is an understatement to see how many people showed up here to State Fair Park today. You know, they, uh, it's been two years since people were able to come to State Fair Park for the Wisconsin State Fair. They made the announcement 99 days ago that it would be a go. So a lot of people were wanting to come here, and we did notice some long lines to get into the gate this morning. I had a chance to speak to the State Fair CEO about the long wait. It's always busy, but with it being cashless, there's a new system that's a little that's holding people up a little bit, just trying to figure it out. We're working through it. We have staff. We're pivoting just like we always do. But I, we knew we'd have to pack the patients, so I'm hoping people will do it so that when they get in here, they're ready to have some fun. Kathleen O'Leary, uh, hoping everyone simply packs their patience here. Now, people, when you come here to the State Fair, there are some changes that you will notice this year. One of them is a newly renovated Central Mall. It includes new picnic tables, swinging benches, and updated landscaping as well. Crews also removed a lot of the curbs to make it more accessible for people who are using wheelchairs and strollers. And of course, we are here at State Fair Park, and we have a special broadcast for you at 6.30. I want you to join Lindsay Slater and myself for our State Fair spotlight special. We're going to show you what is new and the fair favorites you will not see this year. Plus, we're going to be tasting some of the new, interesting, and exotic foods here at the State Fair. Now, one thing we also have taken note of today is the traffic. Let's get a look at what it looks like right now with Matt Salemi up in News Chopper 12. Yeah, remarkably better than it was at the 11 o'clock hour. Check it out. At 11, this whole ramp here for 84th Street off of I-94 was packed about a mile long backup heading in, and that is now clear. You can just drive right up. In fact, 
right into the parking lot. The uh, 76th Street and Pierce entrance has absolutely no cars waiting. The uh, Greenfield Avenue as well, right at 80th Street, you can see that has no waiting as well. So you're going to have to look around for a parking spot if you're parking on the grounds. But right now, you won't have any delays getting in. All right, Matt, thank you. Meteorologist Molly Bernard is here with a look at the State Fair forecast. And Molly, it has been beautiful as far as the first day is concerned for the fair, and that continues on this evening. And that's right, Toya. It's warm out there. It's not too humid right now. This is our camera out at State Fair Park. It is a little bit hazy. One thing you want to keep an eye on if you're headed out to the fair, or really if you're anywhere near Lake Michigan, we do have an air quality alert until 11 o'clock tonight. So the air quality expected to reach unhealthy for sensitive groups. That means if you have lung or heart issues, you may want to consider limiting time outside, but for the most part, this isn't going to impact everyone and it's going to be a low impact for most of us. One thing that may be a little more of an impact, keeping an eye on some showers off towards our west. They're not moving too quickly. This is a three hour satellite and radar loop, but we could see a few spotty showers here later on this evening. So by seven o'clock, if you're headed out to the state fair, temperatures near 79 degrees will cool off after sunset, 75 at nine, about 73 degrees by 11 o'clock, but there may be just a few spotty showers, a rain jacket, not a bad idea. Better chance for storms tomorrow, and I'll time that out coming up in Weather Watch 12. We're following breaking news. An amber alert for a missing two-month-old boy from Wisconsin Rapids has been canceled. Authorities have been looking for Dorian Geisen and his mother, 28-year-old Haley Pallott. Police say Pallott was involved in a police chase, but officers called it off when she threatened to physically harm the child. They say the baby has a life-threatening medical condition and needed medication. Minutes ago, police said they found the car out Outside Wood County. They say the child is safe and they have two people in custody. The number of new coronavirus cases in Wisconsin continues to climb. The state reported more than 1,000 new cases for a third day in a row, adding 1,548 new positive tests overnight, the most since January 27th. Wisconsin has averaged 994 new cases over the past seven days. A little more than 60% of Wisconsin adults are fully vaccinated. 63% have had at least one dose. Within the hour, health department officials in Milwaukee County recommended universal mask requirements for K through 12 schools, regardless of vaccination status. It comes as school boards decide whether masks will be required in the new school year. As for a vaccine requirement for city workers in Milwaukee, the city's health commissioner says it could take a while. I know we're working through the logistics. It's much more difficult than, um, you know, you think you could just require employees to have um, to be vaccinated but we also need to offer testing and figuring out how to do that testing who's going to do sort of the record keeping the legality of all of these decisions are all being weighed really heavily by the mayor's office and the department of employee relations so we're all working in concert you can watch the interview with Milwaukee Health Commissioner Kirsten Johnson Sunday morning at 9 on Upfront with Adrian Pedersen. As of today, all state executive branch employees will have to wear masks in state buildings. This includes the Capitol Rotunda, hallways, and elevators. The public is being asked to wear masks in the state Capitol building, but it's not required. He's about to arrest me right now. Right. New body camera video shows the moment a Milwaukee public school teacher was arrested outside headquarters. Nishonda Bailey told us a pay issue ended in her arrest. WISN 12 News Matt Smith is walking us through the new video. When MPD officers arrived June 1st, Deshonda Bailey was sitting outside MPS headquarters. District officials called police saying she was no longer an employee and was trespassing. It's whistleblower retaliation board. Okay. And I'm not leaving. You guys are going to have to physically like arrest me or something. Um, but that's no, no. this is insane because I am an active employee. In newly released police body camera video, the situation escalates. He's about to arrest me right now. Go ahead and stand up. I'm about to go no, to no, my no, car. No, I'm going to my car. No, we're past that. Stop, stop. Into my Place car. your hands no. behind your back. You are under arrest. I'm going to my car. Place arrest your now. hands behind your back. You are under arrest. Police say Bailey was resisting. Officers wrote in a later police report that they guided her against a wall to gain leverage during the arrest. Officers say Bailey then was able to push off and spin toward a metal beam. I can't breathe my heart! Get down to the ground! I'm, I'm going this way. Stop it! You are under arrest. You are in custody. You have cuffs on. Anything you choose to continue to do. Why are you pushing? Because, because you, you would not. Because you would not. Because you would not. 
You got it? My arm! My arm! Stop trying to pull away! My arm! Well, stop trying to pull away! Milwaukee Public Schools initiated this brutal attack. Community advocates watching the case say the police action was unwarranted. When she said, I want to go to my car, they said, no, it's too late. How was it too late? If a person's sitting there peacefully, it's too late? Bailey is facing charges of resisting an officer in disorderly conduct. On the phone today, she claims she is still an MPS employee. MPS today said that's not the case. In Milwaukee, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. Nine years ago today, a gunman walked into the Sikh temple of Wisconsin in Oak Creek and opened fire. President Joe Biden remembered the victims today. Seven people lost their lives that day. Today, we honor everyone impacted by this tragedy, and we think about all the pain during this pandemic with the rise of hate crimes, harassment, bullying, and other forms of bias against Asian Americans. It seems not to stop. Governor Tony Evers also tweeted today calling it a violent act of hate and racism. Well, it is the most popular food attraction at the fair, the cream puff. The Wisconsin State Fair classics are back. We will introduce you to the cream puff boss who worked her way up through this assembly line. Plus, the Greek vacation for the Bucks championship trophies, the ancient landmark where Giannis and his brothers took the Larry O'Brien trophy. And as we go to break, another live look at the State Fair. Beautiful weather for opening day. Christian rock band Skillet headlines the main stage tonight. The show starts at 7.30. Tonight, as the Delta variant continues to surge, the battle over mask mandates is heating up. Should schools be allowed to require them? With so much at stake, World News Tonight with David Muir is America's number one most watched newscast. Attention homeowners, you may remember we started out looking for 50 homes, then down to 30. Thank you for your response. And now down to 20 homeowners. You don't want to miss out. Remember, we can take those old energy-wasting windows out and install new windows as part of our home evaluation program here in Mad City Windows. We're going to install the Eco Sky windows with Sky Mirror technology. We're going to give your home an energy upgrade. You're going to love these new windows. We're Wisconsin number one remodeler and now we're looking for 20 homeowners who need new windows. 20 homeowners will receive special savings. Free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no payments and no interest financing. Call right now. You get a free $50 Amazon gift card with your in-home estimate. Call 262-381-1000. Let me give you that number again. 262-381-1000 Mad City Windows. If you can afford to launch yourself into space, you can pay your fair share in taxes. But billionaires and big corporations have avoided paying taxes for years. President Joe Biden's plan makes the rich pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for families with children and create millions of good jobs. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to stop putting billionaires ahead of the middle class. If you can afford to joyride in space, you can pay your fair share. Ever since I remember, I wanted to be a lawyer. My father came to this country with nothing. I want to represent working people like him. The most important thing I do is to help people. It's important to talk plainly to people. It shouldn't be hard to see a lawyer. I'm casual in my office because that's my personality, but in court it's all business. I tell the truth and I keep my word. My clients call me Barry. Earn now, spend later during Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Rewards Members Dollar Days. Now through August 15th, Rewards Members earn $10 in Blaine's Bucks for every $100 spent in store. Redeemable just like cash August 19th through the 29th. Start earning now on select Cadet Dog Treats, just $9.99. Introducing our new look Blaine's Farm and Fleet Pet Food Treats and more. Featuring a variety of formulas for complete balanced nutrition at an affordable price. Start earning Blaine's Bucks now to spend later just like cash. And another exclusive look from above at State Fair. And it, by all means, it looks like they're having a great time down there. Folks definitely enjoying themselves. It's packed as well. This little area here right behind the uh, grandstands. People moseying up and down trying to decide what they want to eat. 
The uh, new courtyard in the square in the middle is busy. Looks like they had a little show going on at the uh, south end of it right now. So folks out having fun. The best news is there's still plenty of parking left in the uh, circle here, and there's no delays off the freeway or on any of the side streets getting to this place. All right, thank you. Well, the State Fair has come with changes this year, but some things never change. Yeah, like the classic cream puff. Derek rejoins us. Not too far from the cream puff pavilion. Yeah, Toya, you know the cream puff is a staple here at the Wisconsin State Fair. It's one of the things many people told me they were eager to come to have because it's just what they know with the Wisconsin State Fair. I spoke to one of the managers at the Cream Puff Pavilion. says they have a staff of about 200 people here uh, to work the State Fair. There was one person who stood out in particular. It's a former third shift baker who's now the boss, and she met with Hannah Hilliard. Filio may have a new title in the Cream Puff Pavilion. I am the general manager of operations here. But this is not her first fair. I started when I was 15 uh, and third shift when that still existed here. From baking overnight to being a part of the cream team, she's done it all the last 10 years while working her way up the ranks. And what made you stay with it? Um, the continuous relationships that I have here. Friendships with people like Gloria Smith. Coming through, hi! who's worked here 16 years. It's a family thing. You know, we all family up in here, so, you know, we get things done, and that's the thing, you know, we get things done, work as a family. A family that's practiced the perfect technique. I like to break a little piece, scoop it, squirt a little bit, take a bite. And keeps them coming back for more. Definitely ready to see fa young families making memories again. I would imagine those cream puffs are as big as those toddlers. Oh, it's so faces. hilarious. I love it. It's awesome. Now remember, no blue ribbon brownies or colossal cookies this year, but they'll have plenty and plenty of those cream puffs. Reporting from the Cream Puff Pavilion, Hannah Hilliard, WISN 12 News. And Kate and the entire team plan to make hundreds of thousands of cream puffs over the next 11 days. We're told in the first four hours today, they had already made 8,000. Toya? And how many did you eat, Derek? None just yet, <laughs> but the day is still young. That's true. Thank you, Derek. Coming up new tonight at 6, the State Fair must-haves. What are you looking forward to most? We'll take a closer look at the State Fair food this year, from cream puffs to corn on the cob to something a little different. Plus, it is frustrating and it's sad. The message from one UW health worker who is now back on the front lines fighting COVID-19. That's coming up tonight at 6, right after World News with David Muir at 5.30. Well, bronze for a former Badger, former UW star Rose Lavelle and her Olympic teammates beat Australia 4-3 to to claim the bronze medal in Tokyo, obviously there in soccer. Team USA, as far as basketball is concerned, advanced to the gold medal game. Bucks Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton each scored 11 points. There we go. They'll play France Friday. Head coach Greg Popovich revealed that after the, ga after the game that Middleton's wife gave birth, after the NBA Finals, before he flew to Tokyo. Congratulations. Congratulations yeah. to them. The Atetokounmpo brothers take the championship trophies on tour of Greece. The Bucks posted these pictures of Giannis, Thanasis, and Kostas with the trophies at the Acropolis. Giannis is holding his NBA Finals MVP trophy. Thanasis and Kostas took turns holding the Larry O'Brien Championship trophy. Kostas won the NBA championship with the Lakers last season. Well, the Weather Watch 12 now. It was warm, but not too humid today. And Molly, humidity is going up, and you're tracking storm chances tomorrow. And that's right. It's not going to be a washout if you're headed to the State Fair either this evening or tomorrow, but our rain chances start to increase and ride along with the humidity. Outside right now, though, we have plenty of sunshine. A beautiful look. This is Brookfield on camera out at Landmark Credit Union. Just a lot of sunshine. There is some wildfire smoke that's causing a little bit of haze in the atmosphere. It's really something we've been seeing here over the last few weeks. 86 degrees in Milwaukee right now, but notice the dew point sitting at 56. That's really comfortable if you're headed out. It's a little bit breezy, like me making it feel at least a little nice as you're stepping outside. That's going to change. Our dew points really start to climb tomorrow and notice on our 12 hour forecast, 
right around sunset, a little after that, a chance for a few showers, and then we have a chance for some storms as we head towards early tomorrow, but we'll likely get a break in between those two systems. Here's radar right now. We're dry. There's some showers off towards our west. They are slowly working their way here. I really don't think we'll see too much of anything tonight if you're headed to the State Fair. Maybe just a few spotty showers, so a rain jacket, not a bad idea. Storm chances build in late tomorrow afternoon into the evening, so before that, if you're headed to the fair, it's going to be hot and muggier. Then we have on and off storm chances on Saturday. So Friday and Saturday, not washouts, but keeping an eye on rain chances if you're headed to the fair. Here's future cast at 9 o'clock. Notice, not a whole lot going on, but there are just a few showers, so we may see just a few isolated showers for the last few hours of the fair. By 5 o'clock tomorrow, a few storms start to bubble up, but we actually have a better chance for some storms tomorrow afternoon. We'll likely see a break around midday, and then notice, 4, 5 o'clock, we start to see a few more isolated showers and storms build up near Milwaukee and work their way off towards the east. Severe weather tomorrow looking like a low chance. We're in the green. That's a one out of five risk. So we head towards Saturday. The severe risk across our area really not too high, but we'll have to keep an eye on storms off towards our west that could impact us a little more widespread, especially if you have fair plans on Sunday. You may want to have a second plan just in case, and then our rain chances start to decrease. We do need the rain, unfortunately, coming during the state fair, but I think Friday and Saturday you can still get out to the fair you may just have to dodge a few rain drops, keeping an eye on satellite and radar here Friday and Saturday. Otherwise, we are hot. We're humid through the weekend. Highs in the 90s Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, cooling off with more rain chances by the end of the forecast. All right, Molly, thank you. Still ahead, State Fair swag. All you do is you reach in, pull it out, and in like three seconds, it becomes a drawstring tote. The one-of-a-kind sweatshirt you'll find at the fair. Ashley Home Store's multi-million dollar clearance event is on now. Save up to 90% off hundreds of floor samples, scratch and dent items, special purchases, and more while they last. Shop sofas, sectionals, beds, dining tables. Everything must go up to 90% off. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. Are you tired of leaning out a window like this trying to clean it or risking a fall up on a ladder? Don't do that anymore. Give us a call here in Mad City Windows. Over 50,000 satisfied customers. We're going to install the Eco Sky windows that are easy to operate and give your home an energy upgrade. And take advantage of these special savings for a limited time. Be one of 20 homeowners to get free installation on a house full of new windows. Zip code and location are important. 18 months, no payments and no interest, and a $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. Welcome along to Road America. It's the perfect racetrack for sports car racing. It is America's national park of Spain. My favorite part of Road America is the culture, the ambiance, the energy. It's the longest track on the IMSA WeatherTech Championship. Super aggressive there. They love this type of racing. I love the whole track. I think it races super well. It's definitely one of my favorite stops. This is going to be huge. Absolutely huge. There seems to be an increasing number of trucks on our highways. Most truck drivers drive safely, but those that don't cause serious crashes. Tailgating, speeding, changing lanes without warning, it's a recipe for disaster. Trucking cases require specialized knowledge and expertise. If you've been injured in a truck accident, don't trust your case to just any lawyer. In my 20 years at Cannon and Dunphy, I've helped many clients hurt in truck accidents. I'm Ed Robinson. If I can help you, please call me. Are bunions keeping you from showing off your feet this summer? Here at Northwest Surgery Center, we're the experts at minimally invasive bunion removal. Our advanced procedures offer you the best option for bunion correction. Our patients walk out of the office in a post-op shoe and are soon back to wearing their favorite sandals or even barefoot and proudly showing off their bunion-free feet. Visit our website or call Northwest Surgery Center for a free consultation. And let's get you active again. Beat the heat and save on energy costs with a retractable awning. Rain or shine, you'll get more out of your deck or patio. Our custom awnings are motorized and feature sun and wind sensors for ease of use. Comfort awnings, how can we shade your day? Give us a call at 1414 Awnings. Ashley Homestore's biggest multi-million dollar mattress clearance event is on now. Get the lowest price in Wisconsin on doorbusters like these. Shop clearance and overstocks while they last. Pay as little as $20 a month for Tempur-Pedic. No interest financing for six years. Only at Ashley Homestore. This is home. 
Here's another live look at opening day of the Wisconsin State Fair. News Chopper 12 flying over the Wonder Fair wheel. On your left is a picture at night. The wheel is 15 stories high and features more than 528,000 LED lights. The top of the wheel boasts a 10 mile view. Tickets are $6 per person. $6 for my eyes closed for that long. <laughs> It lasts about 10 minutes, too. Ooh. Well, some for some fairgoers, shopping is a must-do. WISN 12 News' Hannah Hilliard found the newest fair swag, the Quick Flip sweatshirt. And when you're at the fair and you're not sure if you need a sweatshirt, what do you do? Like, you, you know, you wrap it around your waist or you wrap it around your neck. And it's not a good look. Let's face it. This sweatshirt, all you do is you reach in, pull it out, and in like three seconds, it becomes a drawstring tote. And now you're hands free. You're eating cream puffs. You're drinking beer. You're dancing. And you got it all. And, and the best part is there's room for someone else's sweatshirt. <laughs> First you, seen on Shark Tank. Was it really? Here on and, ABC. And here I'm thinking you're not going to get the cream puffs or the beer on your shirt. Because it's true. on your back. That's true. I think uh, marketing and promotions upstairs should get Channel 12 ones for us Good to idea. use. I'm just saying. We'll get them on that. Just suggesting. <laughs> we'll be right back. We know Milwaukee. And mornings are kind of our thing. So you can trust us to start your day. It's connecting you to what's happening right now in your neighborhood. Here's the latest information and accurate forecast to plan your day. You got to get out and enjoy that sunshine. Bringing you breaking news and traffic like no one else can. Happening right now, covering everything you need to start your day. WISN 12 News this morning. Milwaukee's number one morning news. Weekdays, 430 to 7 a.m. Time is running out to participate in our home evaluation program here at Mad City Windows. Now, we started out looking for 50 homes, then 30. Thank you for responding. Down to 20 homeowners. Remember, zip code and location are important. We'll put a good neighbor's sign in your yard. Curb appeal counts. And you're going to get a house full of new windows at unbelievable savings. Whatever size window you need, bay, bow, double hung, slider. If we don't have the color on the outside, we'll make it for you. It's the Eco Sky Window only from Mad City Windows. Be inflation and take advantage of our volume purchasing power here in Mad City Windows. Be one of 20 homeowners to get these special savings free installation on a house full of new energy saving windows. 18 months, no payments, no interest financing. Last chance to call in to get the $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. Call 262-381-1000. Let me give you that number again. 262-381-1000 Mad City Windows. Steinhoffels is your Tempur-Pedic mattress headquarters. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. A great night's sleep starts on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. Sleep up to 8 degrees cooler on the next generation Tempur-Pedic Breeze with super breathable cooling technology that moves heat away from your body. Get a Queen Tempur-Pedic Breeze mattress for only $67 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60-month special financing. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffels cash and free delivery. Only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. Hi, I'm Sharia Amara. Join us tomorrow morning on 12 News This Morning as we get you ready for day two of the Wisconsin State Fair, including all the special deals and performances. Plus, the streets of Milwaukee will be filled with music and poetry this weekend. We'll tell you about the first ever busker fest and temperatures are heating up. Wake up knowing what to wear with Molly's forecast. Trust 12 News every morning. See you tomorrow. And one more look from News Chopper 12 above the Wisconsin State Fair. If you want to come down here, now is the time because traffic is simply clear getting in to State Fair Park. Another reason to come down is because of this wonderful person next to me, <laughs> Lindsay Slater. You know, it's been honestly really great. I've been kind of monitoring the cumulonimbus clouds, making sure they aren't getting a little feisty on us. So, you know, want to keep it, we want to keep it rain free, and it looks good that way Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. And we want you to join us at 630 for our State Fair Spotlight Special with Lindsay and I. Everything you need to know about the Wisconsin State Fair uh, at 6.30. Back to you guys. All right. I heard Derek had a fresh lemonade, by the way. <laughs> but not a cream puff <laughs> Not yet. a cream puff yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back here for 12 News at 6. World News with David Muir follows our newscast. Feel the joy of selling your house with no repairs, no showings, and no surprises. Call Homestead Road today for a free no-obligation offer. 
at U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape so we can help everyone stay connected for less. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Whether it's adapting the network for a strong signal where you work or optimizing your coverage where you play, we're always hard at work to make sure our state-of-the-art 5G network works for you. Up to $1,200 off any 5G phone with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Monster Jam. Brought to you by Great Clips. Get your savings coupon from participating Great Clips salons and save 20% on select tickets. Coming to Fiserv Forum August 20th through 22nd. I learned long ago, if you've got the right tools and a little know-how, you can do it yourself. And no wall of mine's going to get some dime a dozen paint. Pittsburgh Paints and Stains. Premium performance from start to that tough, washable, one-coat finish. It exceeds expectations of what makes great paint. Pittsburgh Paints and Stains. Get 11% off everything, including Pittsburgh Paints and Stains. For over 87 years, Steinhoffels has been helping families create the home of their dreams. Steinhoffels has the largest selection of in-stock name brand furniture and mattresses. Right now, during Steinhoffels Best Brands Best Prices Sale, get 35 to 50% off store-wide. Save even more when you take advantage of Steinhoffels special 60-month financing. It's the Best Brands Best Prices Sale, only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. Tonight, new details on plans for COVID booster shots, the highly contagious Delta variant driving the deadly summer surge. A senior government official telling ABC the FDA is expected to have a plan for booster vaccines for immunocompromised Americans within the next few weeks. The White House reporting about half of new infections are coming from seven states with low vaccination rates among them. Florida, the state leading the nation in hospital admissions, cases rising among children, fears of staffing shortages with doctors and nurses pushed to the brink. But Florida's governor rejecting calls for mask mandates and other restrictions, how he's going after President Biden. And raging wildfires exploding in the West, dangerous heat and erratic winds fueling the flames. In California, the state's largest wildfire engulfing an entire mountain town, gutting dozens of homes and other buildings. Some day